I'm sitting here with uh, who up until five minutes ago I honestly thought was Rosie Perez's brother because I've been pronouncing his name wrong even though we go so far back. You know how that happens where you're friends with someone for like five years and then you realize that you're actually, it's not the person you thought they were. Well, that's what happened with me and Dan. So we go back, God, what, like 12 days? Pretty much. Pretty 12 much. days. And, Best 12 uh, days of my life. Well, 12 I, days. Obviously, if you didn't say it, I was going to say it. Right. And I was talking to someone about the fact that you were going to be on my show. And I said, yeah, it's Dan Perez. And they're like, who? I'm like, Dan Perez. You know, Perez. I'm sure there's some relation to Rosie or the most famous Perez that I know. I'm like, I think it's per Paris. 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 I go, I think I would know. I've known the guy 12 days. I think I would know what his name is. It turns out I was wrong. Uh, it's not Matt Lauer, even though it looks like him. And it's not Rosie Perez's uh, much, much younger brother. It's actually Dan from Baltimore. Just some guy that I met 12 days ago. And now you're sitting here on my couch. Yes, I'm happy to be here on your couch. Um, it's great for you, for you to be here. Uh, why I am so happy right now and so calm, this is me calm, is because for the last 30 minutes you have been watching my child, which is no easy feat. She... The little one is tough. She's tough. She's that super boy. cute. She's cute. She, That's what she's got going for her. She gives out kisses... Like, yeah, careful, I mean, because... I'm worried about it. The college I'm years are going to... No, she you know, walks around now like this. She's puckered and ready to go. Yeah, like if she walks onto her college campus the first, like, freshman year, first day, and she's like... Yeah. Forget it. Like, they're going to send her home. She's a cutie. She's a cutie. She's a good-looking cutie. And I have three boys, so I don't get... Oh. I don't interact a lot with, with little girls that sounded creepier than I meant it to. That was the worst sentence you know? ever said. But I don't interact a lot with little girls. Equally as bad. Go as on. much as I would like. Now it's as bad as it can get. Now it's the um, worst. No, I don't. I, 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 I don't have a daughter. You don't have a daughter. So it's so nice to be around like a little. Well, how little old are your boys? Uh, eight and then five year old twins. <gasps> five year old twins. And they graduated from preschool yesterday. And are they full vocabulary, everything? They're talking. Yeah, they're like, five. Yeah, they're totally. I don't know what five means. Yeah, five, I don't know. yeah, five <laughs> like, you're good. You're set. Like, you're you good. know what ice cream flavor you want. Totally. Not like my kid. Totally. I got that in the brown, in yellow. Yeah, no. No, there's like what? full full articulation and telling on each other. So you have that to look forward to. Oh. On the eight year old or the two five year olds telling each other? Everyone's telling everybody. It's all everybody. in the mix. Yeah. Are the two five-year-olds friends? They are all three are really close until they're not. You have these like, you know, um, like MMA, like cage match yeah. fights that happen. But then they're like best buddies. Now. It's awesome. Does, do the twins know that they're, stupid they question. Do they do know that they're know twins. twins? Yeah. They do know that they're twins. They also know that in kindergarten next year, they're going to be separated. So they oh. separate when they separate twins in uh, in school. They do it on purpose. They do it on purpose, yes. So they can sort of form, you know, right. their own identities and kind of like Oh, that's know, interesting that they do that. I yeah, which is that. great. And 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 so they will talk to, they will tell you that also. They're awesome. They couldn't be more different the twins, but they're awesome. Do you find it interesting that they couldn't be more different? I mean, they grew up in the I same do. household, a, the same siblings, <clears throat> the same parents, really, everything? Yeah, it's amazing. How does it's that even happen? Lot. You know, I don't know, but it's like night and day with the two of them. Yeah. Um, but I think any, um, I'm fascinated now by any um, sort of like sibling relationships. You know, right. I have my own sibling relationship How with many my brother. I have one brother. Older, younger? Uh, he's older. Name? Uh, Jeff. Looks like you? He looks like an older version of me. Okay, more uh, or less hair. What's his last name? Uh, he, uh, <laughs> good. Is he related um, to Rosie Perez <laughs> by any is. chance? He is. Long lost. Um, my brother just had a birthday yesterday, so he is, uh, he's uh, two and a half years older than I am. Okay, so you're pretty tight, pretty close. Yeah, to pretty age. close. Yeah. But I think, like, you watch, like, this is sort of, um, the development of sibling relationships. I yeah. think it's a really interesting thing to, uh, to see take shape. That's know? awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Well, look, these two are not at the age yet where they're, they're still, they're eventually, I mean, they're, they're 16 months apart. So eventually, they're going to be interchangeable as humans. But now, the little one is still just a little too little. And the older one is thinks she's like a 34-year-old woman. Now, the older one is two and a half, and the little one is 15 months. And the older one walks around and is like, don't touch me! With the same volume, Love the it. same, like, uh, you know, housewife of New York City, like, shrieky kind of, right? To, 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 to kind of counterbalance yeah. 
the one who's kissing and pulling her shirt up. She's so cute, that little one. She walks around and she just wants to play with Harper. And then there's, and I haven't wrapped my head around it yet. Time. When they tell me it's time for them to go, is when we'll take them. That makes sense. That's, That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, so you and I actually, the reason I really feel close to you and why I want you to be here, not just proximity wise, because I'm practically sitting on your lap on this couch, so we could get in the same frame of the iPhone, needs to be wider panoramic view, is because you and I have gone through sort of like a similar life changing thing in yeah. the last like six months. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're not Debbie Downer about it no. for the most part. We're looking forward to what the next big thing is, but you and I both sort of left the jobs that some people thought defined us for a while. And now we're kind of, I don't want you to use the word lost, but we're just sort of figuring out, like taking the world in and seeing what sticks, right? Yes. And it is... Well, tell, let's talk about it. Where were you? So I was the editor-in-chief of Details uh, Magazine. Not a small job, by the way. Um, uh, for 15 years. And not a small chunk of time. And it was amazing. Um, uh, and the whole media landscape is, is changing, as, as you know, certainly, but as everyone knows. And so as part of a, um, a business strategy, the company that, that published Details, which is a company called Condé Nast, which is one of the great magazine publishers uh, or content producers um, uh, now because we're no, we're no longer just a magazine publisher now, right. you know, everyone's in digital space and video and doing things on Periscope and right. so... Um, not uh, us, but other people. Not us, but other people. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as they put together a, a strategy for, for moving the business full, uh, forward, uh, details uh, for, for any number of reasons didn't, didn't fit into that strategy, so they, they sadly closed the magazine. Um, so I now, after 15 years at Details and, and um, uh, you know, 25 years, you know, out working, um, I'm at, at a crossroads, you know, yeah. which is, um, <clears throat> you know, uncharted territory for me sure. and, and has been really interesting and, and um, exciting and, and challenging and all those things. So All the things I'm going through. Yeah. Yeah, every yeah. single thing you said, every word you said. Yeah. It's terrifying, but it's also kind of exciting. It's liberating, but terrifying. Yes. And, and so it's not without its anxieties, of course, you know, um, but, uh, uh, but at the same time, you know, I think it's nice to, to be um, in your, you know, early to mid 40s, in my case. In my case. Uh, and, and be able to maybe make a, a pivot. You right. know, um, to, to steal a word from the popular... No, but popular. you're right. Because if it happened five years later, there's too much anxiety. And if it happens five years earlier, you probably jump ship real quickly to the next you place. Right, and you don't right. think about the crossroads. You yes. think about, well, I need to stay in this lane and just find the next thing coming my way. At least that's the way I feel right now. And that's exactly how I feel also. So I am... Um, so I'm in this really interesting place where, A, you know, I get to... Uh, spend more time with my children, yeah. and um, you know that's such a and cliche. My children. And your children, and yes. My children, yeah. um, no, but that's like the classic. I'm going to spend time with my family. Like that's the classic press release. Sure. It's going to be working, you know, doing exactly. some philanthropic work said. and spending time with the charity. Without the time with my children. But uh, you yeah, know, but I am able to really spend more time with my kids, which is amazing, and um, and it helps kind of clear my head, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, so I'm super present for them, but but I'm also able now to explore. Uh, and have conversations um, about uh, going into businesses that that are not in any way related to the media or are kind of peripherally related to the media. Yeah. Um, but you know, the media is changing and uh, so so rapidly that um, uh, there's lots of kind of new opportunities. That you know? yeah, and and I think we have this like amazing. Thing where because of our age we can just sort of sit back and weigh everything and and have this sort of like larger view than we would have like five ten years ago if this happened. Yes, and so uh, so it's great and it's exciting, but it is not without. I, I am not going to lie. I'm up in the middle of the night. So that was my next for, question. For you know why are we talking uh, you know, about big, big because... chunks of time? Because I am like, huh? Well, okay. I have three kids, you know, so I have a family and, and, um, you know, so sometimes it's easy, you know, listen, they, you know, there are, you know, there are, uh, mon monkeys, you know, that, um, 
won't let go of the the vine or the branch that they're holding on to until they grab, grab the a hold one. of the next one. Yeah, right? it's a really good way of putting it. And, and and I have I'm kind of just you know yeah. free floating there. You know, so I haven't right. grabbed a hold of the next one yet, but I I've let go. Yeah, talk to Tom Junior. And so exactly. Yeah. Um. And uh, did you ever see Pixels? No, um, but I played Donkey Kong Jr. You have the voice, so you watch the movies. We watched Pixels, which was great, but I grew up playing Star Wars, which is going to sidetrack for a yeah. second. Were you Atari? Atari and then Calico? Calico? Yeah. Uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Burger Time, Frogger, all oh, the wow. little guys okay. that were... Okay. Not on the... What do you have now? Those Sega... No. Not those things. The Those flat... You know, the little things yes. you have with tiny yes. little buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like Atari <clears throat> or... Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me, but anyway, all of that back to my back to the monkey. Sure. Um, so it's so yes. Yeah, so the middle of the night, it definitely, I have yeah. my I have my moment. And it's terrible yeah. when it happens. Mine's usually around like two, three o'clock. Yeah. And I get stressed and I worry, you know, about what I'm gonna do and if it's gonna if it's gonna be as satisfying and as rewarding and you know as um, financially okay as everything else I used to. Do. Completely. You know? But but the um, the the. The uh, sense of opportunity uh, to me uh, outweighs that anxiety, and, and um, the the opportunities, you know, the opportunity for like adventure or to explore just different uh, different uh, businesses uh, is greater than than the anxiety, at least for me, at least yeah. right now. How long? When did you leave? The end of last year. Okay, so me too. I left in, in November. So did I. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out you know where I want to be but I, I mean I, it's a no-brainer for me what I think you should do I, maybe you can give me advice as well you What's left happened? a magazine called details I would just start a competing magazine called like the big picture so there's no details in it at all it's just all big themes <coughs> I like that I it's like just that a magazine a of themes that I you know like like, like the, the first article will just be on like earth right like your old magazine would be like oh yeah. little things that are going on in earth this one is just the next thing it'll be like you know like you know like cheese but don't get into specific no, cheese. No, no one wants... You want to keep it vague. The minutia. The minutia is not what you want. No, here. that's no, old news. That's, old, that's news. old news. What you want is the big... Macro. Pick, see? Now yeah, you know what I'm talking Macro. about. Macro. That's what I would do. I love it. Now what do I do? Start I a, a TV show that's called like yesterday. Right? That's what I need to be and doing. Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Of course me. Like here's why I'll fail. <laughs> I pick fail because mine's like yesterday. And in other news, Donald Trump announced he's going to run for president. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a lot of boo hiss <laughs> hiss boo. A lot of people need to be. That's funny. Need to be caught up. A lot of people want to know. I'm for the slower people. Uh, yes. You know, I'm still reading Judy Bloom, like I said. Awesome. You know, like why read Michael Crichton when I could Tales of a Fourth Grade? Because Nothing Michael is Crichton is there. super current and and today. <laughs> so you pick a current author. What did Mike? Been dead for like who's... 25 years. <laughs> Who's a current author? Like Hobbit? Is that an author? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Pick <laughs> one. I'm terrible. Like, is haiku? Is that a thing people Yes, do right haiku. Now? Haiku. No, you know what people are doing now, actually? Adult coloring books. Yeah. Yes. How do you I, feel about that? I, okay, so I have a little bit of the ADD, and when I'm on a phone call, and I happen to be sitting down, you which is never. I will doodle. I'm What's these, your doodle? So I always start with a square, and then I branch out from the square, and it could be like the Medusa of doodles. It's got like things come across it. It's nothing specific. Um, but I find that if I had an adult coloring book, what I call I don't know, but what do you do with it? I know that people take it super seriously. Not that I can't wrap my head around it. Grown-ups. I don't Actual know if I can. Like real, full-fledged. Yes. Mental capacity. Full on, like boxes, of, boxes of sharpened pencils and, yeah. and fine markers. I don't know. I don't Strange. Know. But you go to a bookstore. Yeah. And, and there they are, right everywhere. in the front, in the everywhere. front part, yes. where people like me buy things because. See, who wants to? Who wants to go in? all the way back there? And who has the time? Who, I, I, I actually I have, have the, the time. time. I have the time. I have the time. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually have the time. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I've done. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, right? Like. The, the app and the website and the TV show. The I haven't done an show. app or a website or a Periscope show. No, but you don't have to. I, I, you're not. We're a little bit different. We're the same. We're the same, and yet we're different. different. I respect that. Same but different. What we need to do is collaborate on something. I think we should. We should take same and different and marry them together and see what we get. Like you got chocolate in my peanut butter. Chocolate in my peanut butter. Yeah. Again, that sounds really dirty. I was saying in the big picture yesterday. The yesterday's big, big picture. picture. Yeah, so we'll talk about 
how yesterday politics happened. <laughs> That's a show. That's a show. Right there. There's a show. By the way? It's not a bad idea, actually. Um, I will I will say, though, that the, the chocolate and peanut butter um, is the greatest gift known it's to It's a good man. gift. It is a solid gift. Yes. There are a lot of good gifts out there. Um, the, that, the, the, what is it called? Bark they just came oh, out yeah. with. That brittle, oh, yeah. whatever it is, yeah. where they put pretzels within the dark chocolate. Yeah. Great gift. Yeah. Great gift. Uh, it used to be the Kit Kat was a great gift, I know, from 1984, but still, I thought that was a great gift, but they've come a long way since they then. They have, and now there's like the big, there are big Kit Kats with Kit Kat Bites, it's there's, Kit you Kat know. Nibbles and the Kit Kat Juice, you can get, um, here's my question to you, and this is to see if we are on the same page, and this is how I judge somebody's, uh, firm grasp on pop culture at the same time their sense of humor, which if we're on par with sense I of humor. I have neither, so, so. I don't know about that, tell me what you're watching right now on TV. As a guy who gets what media was, but also understands what Seinfeld is, tell me what you're watching. Okay. I am watching several things. Yeah. I mean, you can give me five. Um, and so I'm going to start. These are in no particular order. Are you sure? Because people say I, that, but then... I'm positive. They want to put the coolest things out top. They're no, like, no, no. Homeland, and then like a special on the Jonas Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> the other night, my... That was fun. This is big. I'm, I'm about to say this to... At least three people. At least the three of okay. us are going to listen to this. <clears throat> um, and uh, and Quinn. Um, I my kids were, were went to sleep and um, I turned the television on and I watched in its entirety a One Direction concert at a, a San Siro Stadium in Milan, Italy. Wow. Now I am neither. Well, at the time, certainly I was not a One Direction fan. I'm not gonna lie. I might be it a little bit of a fan. Mm -hmm. it, 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 you know, it was fascinating, like anthropologically sure. to me to see. I'm like, oh wow! Like I've heard of this band. Yes. I've met a couple of these guys yeah. through the course of my like yeah. life and career um, over the last couple of years because they're all like 14. Right. And um, I've maybe heard their songs, but I'm gonna watch this. It was amazing. It was amazing. Not so much for the music, but although, for like how interesting it was. And the girl, the the this Crazy. like eighty thousand teenage yeah. girls going nuts. Yeah. So there was definitely a moment of like, wow, I didn't, I did something wrong, you know, in right. my sort of formative years. I should have been those you know, guys. I should have. I should have been those out. guys. Yeah. Why did so, I cut my hair? Anyway, there was that. Shark but night. just so you know, just so you know, yeah. I did the same thing on a, 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 a flight back from LA. So I had the good six hours to get into something. I watched like the Justin Bieber documentary. It's kind of the same. same it's the thing. same thing. It I was, was fascinated. It was amazing, and they're actually they're really good. Yeah. So uh, Shark Tank. Without I, a doubt, I, you know, I, I, I can't. I've ordered half their. Products. I can't stop. Yeah. I can speak fluently about business. Based on solely knowing, on Shark Tank. Yeah, oh, it's not yeah. a scalable business. Oh, I don't know. It's I a mean, like, do you have a proprietary ownership? Yeah, yeah, what's the patent exactly. look like? Pat I can, like pending? Is the patent pending? I can sit down and I can go to a cocktail party and I could be an entrepreneur for 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 the time that I'm in that party. Yeah, based solely on that information. Based solely on that and maybe a little bit of the profit. Yeah, okay. You yeah. know the profit? Yeah, uh, I haven't watched it nearly uh, as much as good. I watch it's very, um, very Shark Tank. Good. Shark Tank, I'm all over it. So I'm doing uh, so I'm doing those things. Um, I'm trying to now. I will o always, always watch an episode of Seinfeld when always, it is on. Always, always, no always. matter where it is in the episode. Yeah. I will... call my phone, Lance. Can you multitask and call my phone at the same time? Watch. Keep going. So I will. Uh, I will always, without without hesitation. Um, I might bail on Friends now. I think back in the day, I was I was friends. in it. Okay. You know, um, is that Okay, yeah. or is that worse than my One Direction? The Friends? Yeah. I, you know, Friends, I never really got into unless someone else was watching it. Not like Seinfeld, where everything stops and I sit down to watch yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah. Um, but I like Friends. I watch it. And when no one's looking... So in case people were like, oh, she's just saying she's a Seinfeld fan. Uh, Lance is calling me. Love it. So, there you go. You're not going to pick him up? Um, You're not going to pick him up. Him. He might be interesting. This guy, Lance, this guy bothers me all the time. Just kidding, Lance. Sorry. The Jeffersons, there are old yeah. uh, episodes of the Jefferson's on funny. like Stars or something sure. like that. I'll watch that. Big Bang Theory, you ever seen that? No. You gotta check it out. I haven't seen a Big Bang it's Theory. It's good. Really? But okay. more often than not, and this is the this is yeah. the truth, I am I can watch the new I can watch hours of like CNN. Um, uh, 
CNBC, yeah. MSNBC. Um, Especially this politics season. Yes, I can season. like I can just watch it for forever hours. and yeah. watch these like poor Trump surrogates yeah. have to spin. Everything. That's not racism. In fact, you're the racist. Your face Don is Levin. a racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh that's my god, funny. this is the best television ever. Ever, yeah. You know? that's very because funny. Um, yeah. you have like they basically have you know like the Union Jack. All you know, of it. Um, you know, uh, uh, anyway, it's amazing. So I can get really kind of wrapped up in sure, that. Sure, I like that. Um, and then I can get into like a, a uh, and this is probably going farther than, than you had hoped to, yeah. expected it to. I can do a real, like a real life procedural, like a forensic files or, uh, or like any of those like investigative Discovery things. ID, yeah, all yeah, those things. Oh, yeah. Cops. Yeah. Cops, by the way, all day. Really? Yes. Never got into that. I could do the fake ones, like the Law and Order and CSI. Mm -hmm. I could do those fake ones. I can't do the real ones. This would be a good time for me to say a shameless plug that I was on a couple episodes of Law and Order. As a reporter? As a reporter. It wasn't a far stretch. Actually, it was. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I was never yeah. really a reporter. Can I ask you a question about... Please. Why is it that female television reporters... I love this question. It's a good way to start a question. Yeah, it is. is it? Have, like, the... The big hair? The hair... So, like... Nancy Grace. Nancy has a lot of height. Nancy Grace. There's a lot of height. It has Nancy's such a lot of volume. A lot of volume there. and a lot of. But it's not specific to Nancy Grace. I feel no, like it's kind of. It's yeah, it was always kind of that the anchor bob. It was like the anchor cut. Over but I feel like the like back. This. I feel like in the back, it's like like what's that? Yeah, they want to give it height. They want to give it height. So it's like re rega regality. Is that a word that it makes you look a little more regal, regal. when you have. I like that's like the other word I made up, which was kosherity. I made that word. Oh, I like kosherity. Yeah, yeah, there are various levels of kosherity. Like yeah. in this house, we don't eat pork, so I'm like, we're like over here on the that's kosherity. That's good. That works for me. Okay. So, were you, yeah. did, did you do? There were. I could show you. Is that like a roll brush and a dryer? Is that that's like... very good. You spend too much time at home, so you want to roll back. You want to take the hair, put it, spray it a little bit, blow it out, and then take out the thing, and you do that all over, and then you push back into place. I like that because when I was a kid. <clears throat> in the 80s, 80s and going to like there was hair because this was like the chachi oh like, uh, this like I mean we're like I think chachi's maybe a little older he's like a little bit older little but like I feel happens. like like Jason Bateman -y, yes M Michael J. Fox yes you know get a little more hair to, you know, not to cross our Bateman references you know right, right. I feel like it was Justin Bateman, Bateman was on that show um, right. but I feel like there they was also like, were in a movie together I anyway go on well, Michael J. Fox. Uh, I thought it was Michael J. Fox Bateman's. and Justin Bateman, but no, Michael J. Fox was with Nancy McKeon in the 1984 yes. version of Poison Ivy. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A summer camp. Anyway, so then they dated for a brief moment. I know way too much about Michael J. Fox. So as you right. should, but you know, I mean, yeah. as you should. Well, by the way, I'm watching Back to the Future. My oldest son, eight. Uh, his name is Oscar. He's eight. Wants to build a time machine. Oh. And so we obviously yeah, started watching Back, Back to the, the Future. future. Um, and there's a scene in that movie, as you remember, where the father, uh, George McFly, played brilliantly by Crispin Glover. Yeah. Um, I'm impressed that you knew that. Uh, come on. Okay, that's good. Um, climbs a tree and is, is like peeping into a window, falls from the tree. Right. And Michael J. Fox pushes him out of the way, gets hit by the car, and, and ends up meeting With his mom, right. uh, uh, Lorraine, Lorraine, who is played by. Anyway, uh, well, it'll come to me. Uh, anyway, so my kids were like, "What, what, Daddy? What is he doing in that tree? Why is he watching that that girl in a bra?" And I had to say, "Oh, he's looking at girls. His dad was looking at girls in the tree." Fast forward to an hour later, I'm out taking my boys for ice cream, and we're in a very crowded ice cream parlor, I and my like my um, one of my five year olds. Uh, so, so, Daddy, why was that man looking at girls? Daddy, do you ever look at girls change their clothes? Oh my God. So it was that. That is perfect. Yeah. That's what I have to look forward to. Leah Thompson? Leah Thompson. Leah that Thompson. was brilliant. Um, that was brilliant. So you have that to look forward to. It's going to be an awesome couple years for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Will you be a part of the upbringing of my kids? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You did I'm, such I'm, a good I'm job 100%. Already. I'm in. Um, I'll really quickly tell you what I watched just so you know that we are on the same page. Uh, I do Veep. Religiously. Oh, that's right. Religiously. Veep, religiously. Yeah, yeah. Veep on HBO on Sunday nights is the best show on television. By the, the way. The best show on television. It is. And Tony Hale. Is brilliant. Might just be. I mean, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus is, is amazing. Is. 
Brilliant. Amazing. I mean, amazing. he was brilliant in uh, Seinfeld whenever it's on. Yes. I finished Homeland. I did a little Madam Secretary. We did the CBS because we watched 60 Minutes and we were those people, the Nielsen people. You just just ride it right through. Of, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. But we never watched the news at 11 o'clock. Um, and Blackish. It was a very funny I love show. Blackish. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Yeah. New Girl is funny too, but Blackish would definitely watch. Okay. I'm going to try So that. we'll have to get together and watch some unemployed television sometime. I'm in. Will you come back? Anytime. I could wax poetic with you about Anytime. literally anything. In fact, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing in two hours? All right, let's do I'm it. I'm going to grab lunch and then I'll be back here in two hours. Done. I'll be right here. Dan, you're so awesome. We I'm totally in. just high fived. Dan Perez, um, obviously of Hispanic descent. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> is going to collaborate with me on the next big thing, which is probably going to be called Big Picture Yesterday, or Yesterday's Big Picture. Big Picture. Yeah. And Stay Lance tuned. is going to like EP that show. Um, okay, we are going to go run back and continue to babysit my 15-month-old who's over in the corner with the most lovely lady in the world. No Aviva. closing segment or closing segment? Or is this it? We'll do a closing segment. We're okay. going to come back and do a closing segment, and we're going to bring Quinn involved. Excellent. We'll get Quinn in. There's another way of putting that.